I never thought I'd use this lens as much as I have in the last six months. It's an amazing little nine millimeter. And now I know I made a quick video about it before, and this is kind of like a follow-up because when I got the lens, it was super smoky. But right now it's fall, we're in the forest, and lots of stuff is happening. I've taken this lens on holidays, on hikes, and of course, used it a lot for skateboarding too. Hey, it's Marlene. Um, I had a couple of surprises when recording this video. The main one was my audio was really terrible when filming outdoors. So I had to re-record everything, which is why you are seeing me here. The other big surprise I'll tell you about at the end of this video. Now I like to travel light on my vacations. I don't usually pack my big camera or big lenses. I was in Northern BC for a vacation last July and I took my Lumix G100 with this nine millimeter lens. That's when I really grew to love this lens. It has minimal distortion and gave me that extra width for those gorgeous Canadian landscapes. Great for dog portraits too. Here are some specs of this lens. It's super fast at f1.7, so great for low light situations. Now at nine millimeters on micro four thirds, you of course get 18 millimeter full frame equivalent. Now this lens is nice and light at 130 grams. It has a super simple design with only a manual focus ring, nothing else. It comes with a tulip shaped lens hood, which is what's used for wide angle lenses. Here it is beside the 15 millimeter and the seven to 14 millimeter zoom. It's splash, dust and freeze resistant, which I need when shooting outdoors and especially for the dust at the skate parks. Autofocus performance is fast, even with video on my G100 here. This lens has very close focusing down to 9.5 centimeters or 0.31 feet. I love creating sun stars using small f-stops. This lens does those really nicely too. Now this nine millimeter focal length has a bit more breathing room than my 15 millimeter lens that I'm using to shoot this video here. Here's the difference. Walk and talk vlogging videos are not really my thing, but as you can see, it works great for that, especially when paired again with my little G100. Just don't trip over any tree roots. I love this lens. Now it's a bit larger than I'd like and it doesn't fit in my pocket anymore, but the trade-off is a sharp, fast lens that focuses really close to. You can have fun with this nine millimeter, I like to put it on a monopod and use it to get different angles on my shots. More like an action camera. Just keep an eye on your stabilization settings, which vary by camera. You don't want things to be too jumpy. Paired with the slow and quick mode of the G100, you can get some fun, creative options. I've used it for street photos too. Being such a wide angle lens, it has super deep depth of field. So it keeps pretty much everything in focus, especially if you're not super close up. But you can open it up wide to f1.7 for some bokeh too. Now, of course, there are other micro four thirds, super wide angle lenses, including zooms like the Lumix 7 to 14, which I own, and the Lumix like a eight to 18 millimeter. A friend of mine has the Lawa 7.5 rectilinear lens for her G9 and loves it. And it's in the same price range as this Lumix Leica 9mm. But if you're on a tight budget, you can find some ultra wides from Seven Artisans too. Who should buy this lens? Well, you like prime lenses, you like fast lenses, you're looking for a different perspective on your street photography, or you like photographing expansive landscapes. That's who should buy this lens. What's your favorite ultra wide angle lens? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. But wait, there's more. My surprise. As mentioned, I originally recorded this video on a nature trail and was interrupted. I made a short story about that here. Now I had three cameras and three lenses on the go at the time. So I was able to record different angles and different focal lengths of the action. I hope you enjoy it. Cheers.